Hey guys, it's Mr. Alonzo. Today we are learning the trumpet one part to the Southwest Junior High fight song. I want to remind you that I am a clarinet player and not a trumpet player, so go out there and listen to some really good trumpet players. The first thing we're going to look at is the time signature. Right here, it says two four time, which means two beats in a measure and the quarter note gets the beat. The next thing we're going to observe is the key signature. Right here, it says no flats, no sharps, meaning that we're going to be playing B naturals, second valve, and F naturals, first valve. But let's observe the entire song for the beginning. As you go through in the third measure, you guys have an F to an F sharp, meaning you're going to play F natural, first valve, followed by F sharp, second valve. Okay? In the fourth measure, we come across our first B, and we're going to play B natural, second valve, only because the key signature says no flats and no sharps. Going on, there's another B natural there, another B natural there, and then we go to the third measure of the second line, and it goes A, A flat, G. So A is 1 and 2, A flat is 2 and 3, and then we go to G. Okay, going on, we have uh, G, A natural, B natural, second valve, C, B natural again. Um, and then we get to the third line, and right here, uh, that might be a new note you've never seen before. That's an A sharp. A sharp is just another way to say uh, B flat. So you're going to play B natural in the third in the third line, followed by A sharp, which is another way to say B flat, back to B natural. So it'll go B natural, A sharp, B natural. Going on, we have another B natural right here, followed by C, C sharp. So it'll, you'll play C, which is open, followed by C sharp, and then the first note of measure 13 is a high D, which is first vowel. So I'll go over that again. Um, you'll play C, C sharp, and then D in measure 13. Then going on, we have another B natural. We have another A to A flat G, just like we did here before. Um, going on, going on. Ah, we have a high D to a C sharp, back to a D, back to a D sharp, and then an E natural. So let's go over those measures, okay? Starting here, high D is first valve. C sharp is one and two. High D is back to first valve. D sharp is another way to say E flat, so it's, it'll be second valve and then high E natural, which is open, followed by C, which is still open, then B natural, A, and G, okay? Going on, G, A, B natural, C. Uh, this is pretty easy here. And then we have a big jump right here. We're going to go G, A, high E natural, open, and then high F is first valve, back to high E open. Then the next line, we go D, first valve, A, one and two, G sharp is two and three, back to A, which is one and two, and then measure 29 is D, okay? Um, C, B natural, A, C, A, G, ah, and here at the end, we have a G, F sharp, G combination. She'll play G, F sharp, second valve, back to G, and then you'll finish this song with A, B natural, and then high C, and then a C at the end. The last thing we want to look at is all these little markings. Um, this is called an accent, and you see those quite a bit right here. So those accents means to um, attack the note a little, a little longer or emphasize the note a little longer. So um, here you're just going to tongue harder, make the notes longer, and emphasize them a little bit more. So a, a bit of a punch. These little ones here that face up, those are top house accents. And those mean almost the exact same thing as these accents, except instead of attacking long, you're going to attack short, okay? So you're still going to tongue a little harder, but play them shorter. And then the little dots above and below the notes, those are called staccatos. And staccatos means to de play the notes detached or shorter um, or put some space between the notes every single time. Okay, and then of course observe your dynamics. We have a fortissimo there, which means very loud, followed by a forte, which means loud. And then here at the very end, we have a crescendo, which means to uh, start soft and gradually get louder until you get to the fortissimo there at the end. And I'm going to do my best to try to play these um, dynamics for you, okay? Okay, let's count this exercise today at 60 beats per minute. One and two and ready and go one a two and one one and two and one and two and one two one two one and two and two and one two one two one and two and two and one two one two one and two and two and one
one, two, one, two, one, and two, and one. And two, and one, two, one, two, one. And two, and one, two, one, and two, and one, two, one, two, one, and two, and two, and one, 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 two. Okay, let's play this exercise at 60 beats per minute. One and two and ready and go. And that's it guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can continue getting help. If you have any questions, let us know in class or you can leave a comment in the video down below and we'll be good to those as soon as we can. Have a great day.